Hello, everybody, and welcome to TO Blue Jays. Welcome to a TO Blue Jays special. This is called TO Blue Jays Quick Talk. So let's talk about things quickly. We've got Kevin Meyer, Kevin Kiermeyer, rather, it signs his deal officially with the Blue Jays, one year, $9 million. Now we know the terms. We know that a bunch of teams have traded for or signed catchers, so the Jays catching market has narrowed down. We have five teams that are still potentially interested and the San Francisco Giants, the San Diego Padres, the Detroit Tigers, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Chicago Cubs, and the sixth team that I think we should also talk about, which I mentioned in an earlier video, the Arizona, the Arizona Diamondbacks. So of those teams, I think Arizona and San Diego and San Francisco and the Pirates and the Cubs all make sense. And I don't think the Tigers do just because the Tigers are going to look at a little bit more of a bullpen role versus the other teams, I think we can get an outfielder. Now, while a bullpen, it still needs to be upgraded. I do think right now, after signing Chris Bassett, that the Blue Jays now need to focus on another outfielder, despite just getting Kevin Kiermaier. And then once they've signed another outfielder who can play every day, that's when you start to go for bullpen again. Now, when we think about the Cubs, we think about Ian Happ. When we think about the Pirates, we think about Brian Reynolds. When we think about the Padres, I think Trent Grisham is someone we're looking at. The Giants, maybe we look at, I forget the guy's name. This always happens to me. Jock Pedersen. I'm pretty sure he's still with the team. But the Arizona Diamondbacks, we talked about Dalton Varsho. The Tigers, again, more likely bullpen. I don't want to have bullpen right now. Let's upgrade how field officially then move back to the bullpen and without further ado the blue jays are also looking at johnny cueto so johnny cueto five years ago extremely ecstatic i know the blue jays have been interested in him before just like many other pitchers and other uh players that they've been interested in and nothing's ever happened but if johnny cueto does come to the blue jays that's your fifth starter right there you're looking at gosman manoa barrios Bassett or maybe Bassett Brios and then we got Johnny Cueto to complement them and then you can add Mitch White and who uh Kikuchi over to the bullpen officially if one of them doesn't get option down the AAA or maybe flat out released which would most likely be Mitch White if anybody and now you got a shirt up bullpen yes Kikuchi and Mitch White make more sense in the bullpen if you're able to add a fifth starter, because you can use them for long relief. Kikuchi pitched okay out the bullpen towards the end of the last season, so we'll see what happens there if that comes. And Mitch White, I still think he's young enough that if he is your fifth starter, that maybe you only get four or five innings out of him, maybe only four, but you can tune him up so that during those four innings, he only gives up two or maybe three runs rather than five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And that's it for this Blue Jays special of T.O. Blue Jays Quick Talks. See you guys in the next video. I hope you guys subscribe and like this content. If you do, it means so much to me, and you won't want to miss out on all the content I put out. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.